What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I'm reporting Canelo Alvarez. The man has done it. He has pulled out of the much-awaited rematch between him and Gennady Golovkin on Cinco de Mayo weekend of all weekends. You know, but it's expected to me. You know, um, I didn't, I never expected the Nevada State Commission to stop this fight. I know the hearing, they said it was a temporary suspension and all that, okay? That's one thing. But I knew for a fact that they weren't going to intervene on this fight. It would have to be him. And, you know, and, and I'm not really surprised in it because you really look at it, the fight was dropping ratings. For one, it wouldn't have done as well because HBO decided not to even promote it due to the allegations of pet use or banned substance or whatever you want to call it. For two, if he did beat Gennady Golovkin, you know, it, it, it's going to be so much stank and speculation around the fight that, you know, it really doesn't even make sense to fight. So, you know, it, it made a lot of sense to pull out because people weren't wouldn't buy it pay-per-view wise. People would buy it, but, you know, it wouldn't be like it's supposed to be, you know. And like I said before in a previous video, uh, it's been a lot of stank between these two guys. Something has always happened to stop these guys from having a, a good productive fight. Whether it's another fight or rather it's some other shit that's going on, you know, and then it go, of course, you know, it's probably karma because this fight should have been done two years ago. You know what I'm saying? They should have had the rematch the time they actually supposed to had the first match. So, but again, you know, uh, Canelo Alvarez, you know, it, it's, it, it all ends the way it's supposed to end because for one, the Nevada State Commission supposed to cancel this fight anyway. You know, so it's really not a big thing. So things are going the way it's supposed to go. Uh, he just decided to pull out of the fight and willfully so. Um, but he needs to get himself clean first, uh, needs to clear all the other BS up before coming in there and stepping on, stepping in there with Gennady Golovkin again, you know, despite an old Golovkin. And then honestly, in September, I really wouldn't want to see Golovkin fight Canelo because I think Golovkin, uh, he did a good, a better, a, a good enough account of himself to win the first fight. Or, you know, of course he wasn't going to win, but he, he won in his own sense. Okay. But, you know, Canelo Alvarez will not get another loss unless someone kills him in the ring. But so Gennady Golovkin should go on to fight someone else, but that's in another video. I'll, I'll talk about that later on, but Canelo Alvarez, he really needs to, um, get everything straight first, you know, he needs to see if they're going to suspend him for six months or suspend him for a year. I mean, he did fail two separate drug tests, okay, and two separate dates. So, you know, we have to see what the deal is. I mean, I was under suspicion when he sent his uh, hard-hitting uh, spar man home, the guy that he sparred with. His sparring partner, he sent him home with really no explanation. So when I heard that, and that, that was as of yesterday, you know, I thought early yesterday, I thought something was up, you know. So when I when it came across my feeds today, I figured some shit had popped off. I figured he had dropped out, you know. Um, I don't know what he should do right now as far as I mean, I guess he just, should just lay low, try not to get 400 pounds, you know, uh, try to keep his head up, you know, because uh, he's going to have to eventually fight. But. For him to want to take on Gennady Golovkin in the fall, I don't, I'm, I wouldn't be interested in seeing that fight because that puts a 36 year old Gennady Golovkin, another training camp, more time. That's six months on top of another fight that he will fight. And I'll get to that. But Canelo Alvarez, you know, he needs to lay low and, uh, you know, get himself clean. Um, what else around in this guy? Uh, you know, he just decided to pull out, you know, just like he decided to drop the W the uh, the WBC belt. You know what I mean? He dropped that belt. He may, you know, instead of fighting for it. So it seems like to me some classical Canelo Alvarez stuff. You know, he it is he makes his own moves. He does his own thing in there. So, you know, and he's decided to, you know, make another move, you know, by stepping out of the fight. You know, we'll know much more as time progresses you know but then again will we know the real reason but you can speculate on the real due to just sound reasoning you know what i mean and just using common sense like yeah you you stepped out because you know you had too much stink around you 
You know what I'm saying? You didn't want to hear booze from the crowd because, you know, because your opponent has just as many Mexican fans at this point. So, but anyway, this is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News. You guys tell me what you think. Please subscribe and you guys been counterpunched. Peace.